All right, well, we're back. And as you can see, we're joined with our wonderful cameraman. He has agreed to give us his own opinion on this Han Solo trailer because frankly, he's much more qualified than us. And, uh, yeah. I don't know about that. But... So this is Todd. And Thank we're you. super happy to have him on camera. Hello, everybody. This is Toon Style. I'm so honored to be with them. And as we were talking about the Han Solo trailer and predictions, I figured I would give some of my knowledge. So here we go. There were a couple of things that I had been thinking in terms of bold predictions. One of the things that I was thinking about is the fact that people kind of underscore the relationship between Han and Chewbacca. The fact of the matter is that Han Solo acquired a life debt from Chewbacca. So Chewbacca actually owes him his life. Now, over time I had kind of forgotten because here we go, we, we've changed um, canons yeah, with sure. Star Wars and stuff like that, but Chewbacca owes Han Solo a life debt. So, and we see a little bit in the video, you know, where Chewbacca was getting his Mac on with his wife, oh, and, you I know, like head that. to head. Like and it was lot. beautiful. It was beautiful. It's about time. <laughs> that was time. cool. They haven't shown, like, any Wookiees barely interacting before that. Like, seriously. Yeah. And, and Chewbacca is getting some. So they, 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 we've done that. And also, you know, a lot of people don't pay attention to the Karelian blood stripe on uh, Han Solo's pant leg. And the oh. fact that it changes color from like either white or tan to red, you know, the canon kind of changes. And the thing is, when we go into episode four, A New Hope, Han Solo is in debt, okay? That's so true. perhaps we may see Jabba the Hutt in oh, this Han Solo yeah. film. Yeah. We may see Jabba the Hutt in a Han Solo film. Yeah. Um, That's like the characters point, yeah. that are running their storyline through A New Hope and The Price Right Back, like, we're not going to see Yoda. We're not going to see R2-D2. Right. We're not going to see right. C-3PO. Jabba, yes. Boba Fett? Why not? Right, absolutely. Yeah, that's such a good point. Like, right. he, like that's such a major part of kind of his participation in, sure. like, agreeing to go with, you know, Luke and Obi Wan is that he owes Jabba this money. Right. Yeah. Because Han Solo apparently he ran a mission that went awry, and so therefore he owes Jabba the Hutt whatever. And George yeah. Lucas made sure that we saw that in all of his iterations of the movie, all 900 of them. <laughs> so, you know, definitely gonna see the fact that Lando loses the Falcon through that oh, game yeah. right, of yeah. Sabak or yep. Sabak, whatever, all you purists, whatever. <laughs> I don't speak, we trust you, Todd. Right, I speak purist, English. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, he, 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 he acquires the Falcon, which is like pristine. And we've That's seen true. that in the trailers. It's I mean, not it's beat up like, at all. Yeah. Exactly. You know, new, radar shiny. edition, everything is all brand yeah. spanking new. Yeah. So we have that. Um, and the Falcon's really important. They keep Falcon still running. Absolutely. Through episode eight. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, that's this is the Falcon introduction movie. Right. Yeah. And the Falcon right. is like a See, character. Now his yeah. shit is coming out. Exactly. Right there. The Falcon makes its debut. You know what I mean? And it's neat, it's clean, and everybody is being smuggled and all that stuff. And personally, I think that we may see the Creature Cantina. Mm -hmm. Because now we have Woody Harrelson's character, and you know, he's trying to put together his his group of smugglers. Yeah. And things like that. Well, when you go look at the smugglers, you're not going to church to <laughs> find smugglers. No. Well you might, but I mean, you know, okay. But yeah. But yeah, right. So so my whole thing is what must they cover in this film? There are a few things that they have to establish yeah, in right, this movie. Right. What do you think they have to establish in this movie? Maybe. What must we see? Uh, right. Han has to like be yeah. the master of the Millennium Falcon right. by the end of the movie. Right, absolutely. He completed the Kessel Run in whatever parsecs. 12 parsecs. 12 parsecs. Yeah. <laughs> We're going on Jeopardy. Yeah. 12 parsecs. <laughs> We obviously see like the chew the Chewy Han relationship, which of course is close in every other yeah. movie that we see. Like, right. Through the and Chewy still like, rolling through movies. episode eight. That's right. He's 190 yeah. years old when this movie happens, according to one of the trailers. And I when that Kylo, was really right. cute. Yeah. And when Kylo Ren did that bullshit, Chewy was shooting first. 
Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> he was shooting first. He was yeah. trying to kill him. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I don't blame him. But anyway. No, it's good. They're weaving together a lot of timelines, storylines, characters. Like it's clear that people like want to see things that they recognize in these right. movies, yes. right? Right. Like Absolutely. so, like Rogue One was like how they got the Death Star plans. Like people want to see that stuff, and of course we want to too. Like that's what. Our two. That's kind of like what franchises are yeah. about. It's like right. you're like, oh, I know and I love this, yeah. and like that's what I want to see in this movie. Our two so like, has we been, can count on doing that. In this our two has one, been yeah. rolling along through every movie. Right. So we need to see some of the other, as you know, Jim said it, the other ancillary characters that are looking for Han Solo because Han Solo is kind of the he's a focal point. Yeah. Especially in Empire, he is a focal point. Yeah. So you know he moves the story along. He has to grab the princess, get her out of there. This, that, and other. They fall in love. You know she flirts with Lando. It's the whole thing. So you know we have to. Han is is a main proponent in these stories. I mean, I find him more compelling than Luke by a lot. Yeah. And if I think about the things that I imagine throughout the Star Wars movies. I'm honestly thinking about Harrison Ford and Princess Leia and Darth Vader and like kind of the last person I'm thinking about is Luke Skywalker, which more as a compliment to other people. So like Luke, I am your father or right. you know, it's not like- Luke has his moments, Luke trains with Yoda, you, Luke and Darth Vader. But yeah, like I agree with you that like, He's who's not, pushing like, this plot along? Like Han Solo is like- yeah more than just like number one assistant like he's really important. yeah i'm like, sure some people will be super offended by what i just said and that's <laughs> okay know, like, that's okay say, that's okay let's think about it this way i don't think they're ever making i mean of course this is tied into the episode four which is that luke has kind of been doing his own thing tending the fields of milking the whatever kind of beast and stuff up until now <laughs> but like they're not making a luke shoot off right right i guess nah. the most recent thing was like him on the island but like we got the Luke origin story. We need the Han origin story. Right, so like, I don't know, I don't... The the Luke origin story is boring. Minus the Darth Vader thing, but like, that's like kind of a separate piece. Everyone else is like way cooler. We've Again, seen that he like, destroyed the Death Star. Yeah. We I mean, saw yeah, that. exactly. His so his, like, yeah. his heyday was really like four, five, and six, and then, you know, like some stuff like towards the later one. But, I don't know. Oh, did you see him force project? I didn't like Jedi. his. I don't like his character that much. I don't know. That force projection was cool. No, okay. I I appreciate his role in like the later stories, but I just don't like him as a character that much. I think he's so super boring. Like in every he movie he's ever been in. Like I just think he's so boring. Right. I don't know. Like every other like Jedi is more compelling than him. Obi Wan. Yoda, yeah. of course, like Ray, like it's just like. He'd rather be in Tashi Station getting some power converters. Yeah. <laughs> so right. I'm, I'm excited for Han. Todd pointed out that it's like kind of like a very. When I said like I, I was watching the trailer and I felt like it was different from the other Star Wars trailers. Todd pointed out that it's like kind of like a western, like that. And when we watch it again, it's clear, like right. the way that it's shot, like the kind of. The things that are accentuated, like the kind of gunslinger thing. Guns! Yeah. Men! Phallus! Yeah. You know, <laughs> guns and trains and... Blasters. Yeah. All that stuff. Right, blasters. I'm excited. I can't wait. Trailers. I can't wait. I was less excited when I saw the, just a little teaser after Last Jedi. Right. And people were like, this movie's gonna be bad. They recast everybody and reshot everything. The director changed. And it's like, um, the F down. Right. Yeah. And maybe we'll go to happy hour and shoot something, you know, after we see the movie. Yeah. Yeah. We'll figure it out. Yeah. But uh, Solo, A Star Wars Story comes out on May 25th. Coming soon to a theater near you. Toon Style. Two, 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 six style. Toon Style.